Good morning, church. Today we're starting the book of Micah. So we'll be in chapter 1. If you're having trouble finding it, and it's in the Old Testament. I know it gets tricky there in the end of the Old Testament. It's right after the book of Jonah, um, which hopefully you're a little more familiar with. But Micah uh, is one of the minor prophets. And um, the prophets are, are, are good to read because they go by quickly. They're generally pretty short. But um, they also get tough to read if you're reading them all in a row because there's a lot of the same material uh, they're all talking uh, within the same couple hundred years of each other, and, and they've got the same problem with the people of Israel, and it's the same message from God. And here it is at the beginning of Micah. Um, uh, he says, um, you have turned your back on the Lord, and you're sinning, and God's going to bring destruction in light of that sin. Uh, he's going to make all the high places low, is, is the way that Micah uh, the thing that Micah focuses on is um, anything that was powerful and, and important in this old system of sin is going to be destroyed and brought low. It's going to be laying bare down to the foundation, and God is going to raise up the things that were lowly before, the faithful, the, the loving, um, the, the lowly are going to be raised up. But I, I, I love an image that he uses to describe our sin uh, because I think it's really important. It appears in some other prophets, but in uh, verse 7, he's talking to uh, about Israel. And he says, All her carved images shall be beaten to pieces. All her wages shall be burned with fire. All her idols I will lay waste. For from the fee of a prostitute she gathered them, and to a fee of a prostitute they shall return. I love that picture of our sin. Because uh, what he's saying is uh, the way a prostitute gets money is to give away herself, the value that she has as a person, for somebody else's you know, money, but certainly none of their respect. And so he says, from the fee of a prostitute, she gathered them. So we, as sinners, have value. We are God's children. We are made in his image. We are his partners and building the kingdom of God here on earth. And we take that value and we give it away and, and we take what the world offers. We worship its idols, money, sex, power, uh, pleasure, all of these things that we think are valuable. We give away what's real and what's eternal. But at the end he says, to the fee of a prostitute, they shall return. And so at the end of that transaction, though, we're left with nothing, right? We've given away everything of value. We've taken all the world has to offer, and we see that it means nothing. And so we have to return by way of the fee of a prostitute. We have to go back and look for more. We have to keep giving away and keep giving away and keep giving away. And it's just this empty pit that we just keep digging in, you know, over and over, deeper and deeper, but we're sure that if we can just dig a little bit deeper in this well, we'll find value. We'll find uh, something that will help us to feel the way we once felt when we were God's children. And it's a good thing for us to hear this kind of judgment and this poetic language about our sin. Because it helps us to think uh, about what's going on in our hearts on a daily basis. And say, I can see now that that really is just... Yeah, prostituting myself out, giving away the value that I have, and seeking after meaninglessness. And so pray about that in your own life. Think about that, that language and how it's true for you, because it wasn't just the people of Israel. This is us too. Think about the value that God gives you, and think about the ways that you traded away for the meaninglessness of what the world offers.